The following program is a special presentation of America's news channel, MSNBC. Seeing deep inside the human brain, unlocking the secrets of the heart, discovering the blueprint to life itself, medical miracles, unprecedented challenges. We are on the threshold of a revolution. Summit for a Cure. From Cleveland, Ohio and the Cleveland Clinic, here is Brian Williams. We just learned this week at the University of Minnesota that they have managed to, to determine that there is a cell within the bone marrow, the stem cell there, that can, be, that can differentiate into all the critical cell types in a body. And that this is something that is much more likely to be acceptable by the body because it will less likely reject than the embryonic. So the real great hope here, Brian, I believe is an adult's stem cell research, uh, and that is absolutely ethical. Chris, hold for me one right. second. Hold for me one second. We're going yeah. to go back to you. You're as tough as they come on this subject. Dr. McGee, I'd like to bring this inside this room. Uh, you make a very interesting point on this subject. How did this become the debate? When did it become, to use the quote, harvesting of human life? When did it become politics? When did it become about abortion? It's funny because it really shouldn't be a debate about abortion. It was framed that way when the discovery initially got passed to those folks who'd been fighting about abortion for 30 years. In the United States, there's a new debate. And just this past week in the newspapers, you read congressmen and senators talking about what counts as an embryo, what I like to call what's in the dish. We don't know what some of these things are. It may be early to say that they are or aren't human life, but whatever you think about them, I think both sides can come to agreement that it'd be better not to use stem cell research that would destroy an embryo to make hair cream on the one hand, and on the other hand, that we ought to be careful before we say that embryos that have been frozen for 15 years or that have been created through a technology that might not even be able to make a baby are a human sacrifice. We've got to figure out how to answer those questions. And in the U.S., we've got a real bankruptcy when it comes to a way to talk. We don't have church leaders trained. Congress doesn't have a research agency dedicated to this. So what's the next step? We've just kind of floundered, and we've seen finally it degenerate into a political morass. Christopher and Bay, please hold. This is where we stand. Now, you're creating a subclass of humanity here that doctors should be able to do with what they want. It does not have the same rights as the rest of humanity. That is a real dangerous uh, direction to but take for this country, and that's why Congress should step in. Okay, Christopher, it, it and is Bay, human and, life. And it we is hear, human life. All right, sure. Dr. McGee. Uh, it's, not a, it's not a human life. Uh, hold on one second. Dr. McGee, uh, again, part of your point is we don't know what we're arguing about. This is the stem cell debate in the United States. There are no more articulate spokespeople for either side of this cause, and like it or not, it's heavily political, it's moral, it has to do with life and death, and it has to do with serious injury. Absolutely, and it's tough football. Listening to this is really hard because so many lives are at stake. We don't know yet how effective stem cells will be. Gene therapy looked incredibly promising 10 and 15 years ago. Indeed, it may pan out. Will stem cells be the panacea that saves millions of lives? I don't know. I don't think any of the stem cell researchers will promise you at this point that it's going to open up the cures to everything in the world. But the bottom line is that we have to be clear about what the U.S. has done. The president has essentially shut down federal funding for stem cell research. His paltry allowance of $300 million won't begin to cover a real research program in the U.S. Leaving it to private industry was his initial position, but then he changed his mind in the Rose Garden about a month ago, and as we saw, the political debate about about therapeutic cloning and so on, left us all confused about where the president really stands. This is going to be a big issue in the next election. It's a big issue right now for people with all kinds of diseases. How do we get our government to help us on this question?